Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to create a spiral hive in Illustrator. Also, if you'd like to improve your design skills and you don't know where to start, I prepared some very helpful courses that will expand your knowledge in design and will guide you on how to become a better designer. If you want to learn more, you can check the links in the description. Okay, first step, make sure that you're on a stroke. You're going to select the black color, select the line tool, which is here. Press and hold shift, create a line. I'm going to decrease the stroke thickness right now. I'm going to go down to 0 0.25. Okay, select the rotate tool, which is located right here. Let's double click on the rotate tool. I'm going to go with 15 degrees. Click on copy and press control D until it goes round and round. Select all of it, right click and group. Now we're going to double click again on the rotate tool. And we're going to distribute 15 with 2. So this is going to be 7.5 like that. Click OK. This part we can split in two. I'm going to select the pen tool. And as you can see, it's going to show the guideline that this is the half. So I'm going to create, press and hold shift, create another line. And on this, we are going to create the first hive uh, illustration, basically the hexagon, you know. So I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to start from here somewhere. I'm going to go up here, here somewhere. See that where it is going to show the guideline. Basically, there is the limit and click on the intersection point. Now I'm going to create a new copy of this. So press and hold alt, drag it down. Also press shift so you can rotate it upside down. And so this is not it. We need to modify this because uh, and basically that needs to be very precise because so far, you know, this looks perfect here. But if you bring this down, this one won't match it, you know, when it gets distorted, when it gets rounded, you know. So what we're going to do is select these without the upside down uh, line and right click group, double click on the rotate and type in this time minus. 7.5 and click OK. I'm going to select this bottom one here and I'm going to just drag it here. OK. And as you can see how distorted it gets. So basically, I'm going to delete this one because it's distorted, anyways. I'm going to lock this, create a new layer. I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to click on this anchor point, click on this anchor point. I'm going to click on this anchor point, make it intersect here. So we got the half of this one. I can press Shift plus X or swap it here. So this is the field. This is how it looks. I'm going to select the Reflect tool, press and hold Alt. Here, where's the anchor point? And select Vertical, click on Copy. Select both, go to Pathfinder, click on Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, you can go to Windows, select Pathfinder. OK, select the Direct Selection tool and delete the top, you know, this flat part. Select it, you know, and press on delete. From here, we're going to swap it back from field to stroke. There you go. So this is the accurate measurement. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the layer and I'm going to unlock, you know, the bottom layer with all the stuff in there. I'm going to go down and select the path and just drag and drop here where where's basically all the layers. I'm just going to delete this blank layer and I'm going to decrease the stroke thickness. So I'm going to select these, which basically I grouped and I'm going to go and select the rotate tool, double click on the rotate tool and I'm going to type in, pull, uh, I'm going to remove this to see what is going on, plus 7.5. So I'm going to click OK and we got this, you know, in the correct way now. I'm going to pull this a little bit more. I'm going to right click on group. I'm going to make this bigger. It's very important. So basically these cross each other. I'm going to remove the center line and I'm going to select these lines, right click on group, select these four lines, press shift plus M or you can go and select the shape builder tool, which is located here and just click inside here. That's all what you need to do. And we're going to need to swap it again from uh, uh, stroke to fill. So as you can see, now it created the hexagon. I'm going to delete these unnecessary lines. OK, from here, I'm going to swap this from field to stroke again. I also going to delete these rest of the lines. So I'm remained with like an X, you know, so I can select the hexagon and I'm going to select the rotate tool. I'm going to press and hold alt and click in the intersection point. We're going to type in 15. 
click on copy and control D until it goes round and round delete the X I'm gonna select them all right click group I'm gonna increase the stroke thickness I'm gonna go to the effects distort and transform transform so check this out the angle is going to be 7.5 there you go I'm gonna create a lot of copies and I'm gonna decrease the horizontal and the vertical I know I'm gonna work with uh, 84 by 84 I'm gonna check it out to see how it's yeah exactly this is it click OK and this is how you make it it's a little bit complicated but it's like really fascinating you know like what you can do with this uh, software so yeah this was it thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye